Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for attending 12-step roadmap, uh, how to achieve accelerated results in your business. This is Jennifer Bagley, CEO of CI Web Group, and I appreciate you uh, being with us today. You guys, we're going to do something a little bit different. I think I say that every single time, um, but I want to talk about CRMs today. I've done a lot of different reviews. You guys, if you've been attending for a long time, you've seen me uh, review lots of different CRMs and that's because everybody's budgets are different everybody's needs are different and so forth but I want to go through a specific CRM today and talk about lead management um, many of you are clients that are on the call many of you are page one listings for the majority of your key phrases and that means you've got leads coming in uh, you can constantly be improving that and doing things better and different so let's talk about lead generation activities and then we're gonna dive right into how do you manage them to be most effective so I'm gonna give you some some examples uh, obviously page one ranking so let's just move over here and I'm gonna head over to uh, Moz real quick and we're gonna grab uh, we're gonna grab let's see here let's go back let's go into keyword rankings and we'll take this for example so for this particular key phrase, um, a page one listing is going to put you on page one. It may be in uh, your home page. Primarily, it's going to be an internal page, and that internal page needs to be designed to convert. So, for example, um, let me move over. Well, let's just go to DFW Security real quick, and we'll go over what are the conversion tactics that they have on their website. So when you get to a site, you want to very, very quickly allow people to get in touch with you. So we have a phone number in the top right corner. We have a chat with us at the very top right. I know their live chat people are going to start talking to me any moment. A we'll call you box in the left hand side. There we go. And there's Randy from DFW Security. Uh, large phone number is going to pop up again. So just in the very top header area, even though there's not a lot of text or a lot of content on here, we've got one, two, three, four, five different uh, conversion things not including the contact us button unfortunately most websites are primarily focused on this little button called contact us and that's not going to do it as you drive into each one of these interior pages you're going to see additional options for conversions that's one method right owning a page one position one ranking for a particular key phrase and once they get there making sure that you've got uh, call to actions that are going to drive people to convert so, um, example on um, CI Web Group, and this is, our website's a little bit different than uh, most. We've only got one large free consultation um, link right at the very top, and then we have our 12-step roadmap and our contact information right here, and these are our primary conversion tools. Uh, also a newsletter. However, um, our site's designed a little different because um, we're not exactly out there trying to search for tons of leads right now. <laughs> so uh, another opportunity, um, give you an example, uh, CIHVAC, this is our Twitter account. So for those of you that have Twitter accounts, congratulations, step one is in place. Next, I want you to think about um, how are you finding new leads on Twitter? So if you're managing it yourself, then you should be doing this yourself. If you're um, using our Twitter marketing program, then of course we're doing this for you. But for example, uh, if you are searching for a particular type of industry, so let's say for, um, let's say that you are in health and wellness and you're looking for uh, mommy bloggers or health and health and wellness coaches because uh, you sell particular products and services then you're going to be looking for on Twitter those types of individuals um, goal is follow them once they follow you so for this particular uh, for this particular business, our goal is to reach HVAC companies. So here's the process. One, we identify those companies that fit in the home contractor services arena. Secondly, we follow them. And third, they follow us back. Once they follow us back, they get a direct message. The direct message says, thanks for following us. Go sign up for a free listing on CIHVAC.com. Or you can have something that says, thanks for following. Go download my free report or go download my ebook or go sign up for a complimentary consultation, but you want to drive people back to something on your website. Now, once people have uh, came into your funnel, and there's lots of different ways. Obviously, I've just given you two. There are um, tons, I love this, there are tons of different um, methods for driving new leads. Now, once that lead, 
once that lead comes into your email box, um, there is an application called Relate IQ, and this is a new CRM that I want to go over with you. You know, I'm constantly studying uh, CRM systems. I find this very, very, very effective from an operational efficiency standpoint. So Relate IQ, and then let me just move over to the app. This is the primary app. I'm on my home page right now. So as soon as I log into my home page, I have tasks. These are automatically generated by um, the interaction or integration between Relate IQ and your Gmail account or your email box, either one. So if you're using Google Apps or you're using Google's uh, email management system, then that's going to integrate into there. If you're using other email systems such as Outlook, you can do that as well. As soon as you're in Relate IQ, and you guys can go sign up for a free demo of this, um, you're going to go into here and the first thing you want to do is you want to get the Gmail Chrome extension and you want to download the mobile app. Two ways you want to manage uh, email or excuse me, two ways you want to manage your leads. One, you want to be as efficient as possible. So having an app on your phone where you can manage all of your uh, email correspondence, all your leads, all your opportunities and so forth is very important. Secondly, um, when you're in your email, your email system should also be tying into or talking to uh, your CRM system. So those are easy to set up. Again, just go to uh, your name at the bottom, click on mobile and type in your phone. It's going to send you the link, download it on your Android or iPhone and download the Chrome extension and you're going to activate that extension. Once you do, you're going to have this cool little widget that shows up here on the right hand side. Now, as I'm moving through different individuals um, inside my email account, you're going to notice here that uh, their contact information shows up. Now, it gives you all of their details. You can edit their contact information. It's automatically putting it into your CRM address book for contacts. But then you have the opportunity to add them to a list. So inside your list, you may have um, leads. I have leads by person. I have leads by account. These are more companies. These are individuals. I also have exclusive programs that we have. Um, we have opportunities, which is something that we've we've uh, converted into a deal. So let me go through, and I'm just going to say that I'm going to add Michael uh, to a list called leads. Now these lists, let me jump back here, can be created inside Relate IQ. So um, you may want to categorize your list differently depending on your business. And this is where some consulting would help you get started. Because uh, what you don't want to do is you don't want to have too many lists. Um, there is a difference between an attribute and a list. So a lead is a lead is a lead. When somebody comes into you and you've not talked to them, that should be um, set as a lead. And a lead is somebody that you've not qualified. You've not spoke to them on the phone. You haven't had any conversations. You don't know if they're qualified. And leads, for example, would be sitting right in here. Um, and this is leads by uh, individual. And then we also have, the way we've set it up, is we have leads by account. We deal with a lot more companies than we do individuals. So inside here, these are all of the leads that have came in um, from different systems. You can also easily import. So let's say I want to import a lead list. If you guys have or you're working on spreadsheets or you have a different CRM system, you can easily say you want to import. You can drag a CSV file right here and automatically go through the process of importing those leads and identifying where you want each data element to go. So ex for example, this is an account property, so this is going to be company, and I would drop in company um, if I had previously quoted them and so forth. If you're importing, you can add these custom fields, but it's really easy to get uh, lists inside the system. So these are spreadsheets that we took and uh, moved them from our old CRM system into our new CRM system and so forth. And so you just want to format your spreadsheets really well, be organized before you start importing a bunch of stuff into, uh, into your system. And that's going to make it much, much easier. So I'm going to go back to lists. I'm going to lose this import because I don't want duplicate content in there. But what you'll notice on here is that simply from an email, so if somebody fills out a web form or you send them an email or they send you an email, you can add them to your CRM system literally with the click of a button. 
You can view the lead. You can add another lead. Um, I can change this and say this is uh, Michael, and he's interested, for example, in SEO. And I can save that lead, and it's going to save it directly into the CRM system. Now, you'll notice over here I have my lists. So this shows me that Michael Hicklin is in the list called leads. And let's say that he just sent me an email. Um, I just I just got one. So um, this is a, a contact that said, please give me a um, please give me a call. I want to go over this proposal. I can instantly go into the system, click follow up, create a follow up, choose the date. So let's say I want to follow up today. I can assign it to myself, or I can assign it to somebody else in the system. I want to link it to the relationship and the relationship happens to be an opportunity that's already created in the system. And I can add a note to follow up. So I can be lazy and just take this and copy it, uh, copy it over here. For example, and this is the opportunity. Now, I want you to see this. Gig Harbor is already a client of ours. Uh, and they're looking at adding additional functionality to their website before it goes into development. So you'll notice they're sitting in two lists. One is a customer list, and the second one is an opportunity list. I have to stop clicking off of this for you. So I'm going to link to the opportunity list. And I'm going to add a note and I'm simply going to paste this here. The great part is this email, because it's attached to this name, which is already attached to an account, is actually already in the CRM system. So if I go back and I'm going to jump over to, let's go to lists and we're going to go to opportunities, for example. If they already have a, an opportunity in the system, it's automatically going to load the stream of emails, which is all the correspondence that's happened with that prospect. So you can keep track of all of the information. If you're working with a larger team, you guys have the ability to, uh, you can like, you can reply, you can reply to all, you can leave a comment and so forth directly from the system. You can filter the stream, you can log an event or you can add a comment to the entire stream. And so this allows you to keep all of the communication related to this opportunity in the system easily without having to email or BCC any special email addresses. I think that's one of the biggest features I like about this. A lot of CRM systems, in order for you to get email correspondence into the system, you have to uh, BCC a specific email address or you're constantly transferring data back and forth. Now you'll also notice here, there's a little follow-up system, so I, I repeated it. I had already assigned a task, and I assigned it to Kathy to follow up with them. Um, you can mark it complete. You can edit the task. You can reschedule it for a later date. So if you're doing consultations or if you're following up on a sales lead and they say, for example, I got one last night. Gentleman sent me a message. He said, I'm interested in, in having you guys do a web design. Um, I'm on vacation in California for a week. Can you get back with me a week from now? Instantly, that email was already in the system, and I have the ability to go in, schedule a task directly from my email, and I got to give them a date that said follow up with them in one week. So just giving you an, uh, kind of an idea of how that works. Now, all of the communication for any customer, we didn't go add this in there. So for this particular opportunity, and an opportunity is somebody you've qualified, probably have some kind of a proposal on the, on the table with, all of the communication thread is automatically in here. Now, again, if you're a larger team and there's more of you, then you have the ability to you have the ability to turn on sharing. And what turning on sharing does is it allows you to share all of the information and correspondence for one week, one month, three months, one year, or share all with the other people that are in or collaborators inside that list. So on this particular list, I can share this list with multiple people from our company, and I can invite them to have access to this list at the exact same time. So everybody's working from the same space. And again, you can choose, do I want to share all? You can easily go click every one of them in the system and you can turn on sharing for every one of those leads or opportunities. So let me go back to lists. Uh, let's see here. 
So another example, um, we get vendor requests on a regular basis. This is somebody that is um, sending us an email and they want to sell us something. So for example, um, Neil Patel, this is a vendor. So I just got an email from him. I can go in here and I can say add to list and I can quickly put him into the vendor list, which is the very last one. I can add as a vendor. Neil Patel is his website address. I can also, it's instantly going to look through your contacts inside your account and it's going to try and identify are there other people in that company that should belong to that particular uh, point of contact for that vendor or whatever list you're putting them in. And I can say create. Now I have success, Neil Patel added to vendors. I can add another vendor, I can view vendors, or I can just simply say done. And you'll notice the information over here on the right hand side has changed. So it's easy for me to see what the list is. It's easy for me to see his profile information. And the great part is it automatically pulls all of the social media details that are attached with any particular individual. So if you're on a sales call, you have the ability to see who they are, what they do. You can see their about me profiles. You can jump right over to their Facebook account to see what are they doing? So if you're having a conversation, it may be better if you say, I noticed you just got back from a trip to Guam or you just got back from Brazil or wherever and look like you guys had a great time and then start a conversation with a little bit of information, education on uh, who you're talking to, what's important to them. They just had a grandbaby, their daughter just got married, whatever the situation is, but you want to have a different relationship with your client and this system allows you to do that. Now, if I wanted to create a follow-up for this, I could easily just click follow up and I could create it just like I did before as you're going through your email so same thing um, let me just float through here a lot of these are out of base camp so that a girl um, you'll notice that a girl speakers they're an agency that uh, books me to speak and you'll see instantly just by hovering over that content that or contact that this individual is already in a list the list is speaking leads and they're signed up as that a girl speakers. I can turn on sharing and that way any communication that I have automatically gets shared with all of the connections or the collaborators that are in that list. So if I go back to lists and for me speaking leads uh, is something that's important. I can go in and I can see who has access to speaking leads and these are the individuals that can see speaking leads within my company. If I want to uh, make it so that I can turn on sharing for everybody, you can either select all or you can individually turn on sharing so that all of your communications and threads are easily transposed between a company. So if you can imagine, if there's three or four of you that are working leads and opportunities, maybe the company owner, an account representative, a sales tech, uh, possibly a customer service representative, you guys are having emails that are going directly into your inbox and they're only shared with you. You want to make sure that uh, communication is streamless in or seamless in between each one of you in the in related to that particular lead or opportunity uh, or contact. And so all of the communications are inside one particular thread and they're all shared amongst the collaborators in that group. And you can turn that feature on and off. Um, I tend to notice that when it comes to working leads, if you don't, if you have a large sales team, then your salespeople are going to, going to want to keep their information to themselves. However, if it's a group of people that are collaborating, if it's a smaller business and it's a group, group of people that are collaborating on a customer, it would be great if you could pull up that client and you could see conversations, notes, information, emails, and correspondence that have happened with other people within your organization. So if I go back to my homepage, again, today it's telling me I need to follow up on this. You also have the ability to send emails directly from the system. So technically you can pull yourself out of your email account when you're in a sales mode, stick, sitting in email is going to give you tons of garbage, right? You're, you're having to deal with all of the um, internal communications and sales and people's newsletters and so forth. Um, in our business, we're very, very efficient when we're working on sales leads and opportunities we are sitting inside uh, our CRM system when we are working on projects then we are sitting inside our project management system so it's very quickly allowing us to be able to maneuver 
process and see what's happening with each one of our clients versus what's happening with each one of the uh, prospects that we're dealing with and so forth. So this is business operations and logistics, whereas this is sales and marketing. I should say more sales <laughs> and lead management. So some simple things about this system. Um, you have the ability to see uh, what you've recently viewed. So these are deals that we've currently reviewed. They've got an awesome help system in here as well. Um, if I, you want to send invitations, you can send invitations to people directly by just typing in their information, resend that invite, and it's going to invite them into the system. So getting people set up in your organization is very simple. You also have the ability to search for anything. So if I want to look for 72, um, I see everything with 72 in it, but really what I'm looking for is an account called 72 degrees air conditioning and heating, for example. And so this allows you to quickly um, either be able to add uh, somebody to your contacts or you can quickly add um, or view an account or a deal or uh, an opportunity or a lead and so forth within the system. So it's pretty simple, you guys. Um, getting started in the system is very simple. The most important thing is if you have leads that come in from a website, um, they come into the website and then they an email comes to you, you respond back to the client and they respond back. The second they respond back, you are simply adding them to a list. So when you get that email, you're saying I'm gonna add them and I'm gonna add them to a leads list or I'm gonna add them directly to an opportunity. Let's say it's an existing client and that existing client wants to increase their services or buy new products or services from you, you can quickly add them to that as well. I can't tell you how much um, this means to a business, but lead management and being as effective, efficient, organized, and disciplined as possible and reducing the amount of energy, labor, or missed opportunities from being unorganized, undisciplined, or unsystematized in your, in your um, process is really, really a huge missed opportunity. Now, my guess is the majority of everything that has came in um, to my inbox is... Uh, is going to be, let me just go through, I'm going to say, I'm going to pull up starred, for example. I don't, th so even here, I have um, personal, this is uh, a personal list. I haven't shared it with anybody, so there's no sharing on this. It's private, but if I have other contacts or other tasks that are just related to me and it has nothing to do with the business, this is um, one of our son's teachers, then, hey, Blake, your training video is done. Um, then I can simply create my own personal list and I can keep those items in here. Um, let's see here. So let's see, Sean Hunt. Um, I can see this is a lead. It's already in the system. I can turn on sharing. Uh, there's already a follow-up scheduled and so forth. So easy enough. And this is the one I said, um, vacation. he's on vacation but interested and it puts me to follow up with them in a week. Um, for here, Samantha Ortiz, newsletter. So I believe this is um, a client of ours. So this is social media delivered. And let me just go back. And I'm going to go in here. I'm going to add to list. So I already know that they're a customer. I'm just going to simply click add to list. Click social media delivered. It's going to pull up their account right here. I already have one set up with six other people in there, so I'm gonna add her to the list of six other people, and I'm gonna save her. So I just got an email from somebody that's new at a client. They're in a different department, but they belong to this account. So being able to add that person as an additional contact under that customer listing was just that simple. Easy, 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 easy. Um, let's see here. So let me head back to uh, lists. And I want to show you how easy it is to create an account. Um, so you can either filter on accounts. So these are accounts we already have in the system. Or you can create an account. And creating an account is, sim is as easy as typing in any company. So let's. I'm just going to type the word air. As soon as I type in the word air, it's automatically evaluating Google. And it's giving you the best 
recommendations for su suggested company profiles based on the search phrase that you put in here. So Delta Airlines is not a client of ours. Air China Limited is not a client. Air Watch is not a client. These people are not in my database. It's actually going out to Google, and this is if you're doing B2B business, uh, and it is making recommendations. So if I type in air condition, I now have uh, Isaacs, I have YD, HVAC, I have another one. I can search for related profiles and it's going to keep giving me a list of additional company results. So from a lead standpoint, um, if you're targeting a particular industry, all I did was type in air condition. Let's see, air conditioning. And this is giving me suggested company profiles. I'm just that simple. So let me go back to accounts. Again, this is not one of your current leads or prospects, but you're looking for someone specific. Um, so I can say HVAC, for example, and it's given me Victory HVAC, uh, HVAC Concepts, HVAC Talk. I can then move in. It gives me an entire new list of HVAC companies. I can increase that list and give me more and more and more. This is pulling it right out of Google. Very, very simple, especially for somebody that's doing B2B uh, marketing for you to be able to create an account in your system, be able to follow up. And uh, how you market to them if you don't know them or they're not approaching you is a totally different training course. So I'm not covering that right now, but I am showing you that if you are good at, and you have a strong strategy for being able to uh, reach out to a company that you have no familiarity with you, or they're not familiar with you, and you can uh, provide them with an, uh, an item of value, you can get them moved into um, something uh, whether that's a training program or a webinar series or a downloadable ebook, or you can give them a free consultation. That's a little salesy. Um, but it gives you an awesome opportunity to be able to very, very quickly go out and uh, connect with these individuals. So once I choose that, it's automatically added into my account. Victory HVAC, don't know them. They're not part of our actual client base, um, but it may be an account that we want to talk to and I can create that uh, account directly from here. Once you have an account, so let me just go pull up Victory, which is, um, let's see here. So I did not save it. Okay, so let me, um, let me go pull this up. I should have hit save. So let's say it's one-on-one -on -one solutions is who I want to um, talk to. Once you're inside this account, you have the ability to um, go in here and I can say I want to add this account to a list and I can convert this account to leads by accounts. I can grab each one of these contacts and I can move them over to the leads by account area and I can say create a lead. Now I have this account with these two contacts uh, inside this inside the lead system and you can move from there. So adding contact information such as address, point of contacts, uh, these most of these are, um, actually I should say about half of these are basic um, fields that come inside the system. The other ones are ones that we've added and you can easily add and change. So for example, if I go into lists and I'm just going to go um, leads by account, you have the ability to change the reporting. I love the fact that this is um, just a simple spreadsheet layout. You don't have to be diving into um, systems or seeing things in small rows. So you have kind of a spreadsheet feel to it. But all of these fields, so the status, uh, your website, create date, days and current status. Uh, these are the number of days since the last event. Now check this out. This is the last communication um, that had had been done with them. So this is how many events do you have that have taken place with this particular lead. And this is the last email. Now you'll see we've got a batch of them in here that we're using to test. So that's got all the crazy numbers. Normally you won't see that. Um, but I can see exactly last communication and it's pulling it from your email, from the connection from your email account uh, API through the Relate IQ. 
I can go in, I can look by industry. Now, if I want to add a field, I can go in here and I can choose any field that I want to add to this particular report. So if I want to add the company name or city or I want to know what country it is or what the description is, I can easily add that information. I can go back. Those are um, company fields. You can go in standard fields. You can edit yourself. So if you want to be able to choose from a pick list, let's say you're an HVAC company and you want to know if somebody's called because they're interested in uh, AC installation, AC repair, AC uh, maintenance, or they're interested in duct work or indoor air quality and so forth, you can create a pick list and you can give it different values. And that way um, it's easy for you to be able to track what kind of a lead it is, what they were interested in, you can easily check those. So I'm going to cancel that one because I don't need that in mine. Intelligence is giving you intelligent data that the system is capturing based on its integration with your email account. So it's telling you uh, 30 days. So this will tell you the last events and that an event would be communication, an appointment, a meeting. This also is integrated with your calendar. So you can see when the last meeting date was or meeting time. You can also see when the next meeting time is. Um, author of last communication. So again, if you have multiple people that are communicating, I can say I want to see the um, author of the last communication. I can see inactive. I can see the last meeting date, uh, next meeting date, and so forth. If I save that, it's automatically going to add this row here, and it's going to grab that information uh, in a moment, and it'll display that information on here. If you're not freaking out because this is totally cool and easy, you should be. <laughs> so the best part is, is 99% of everything that's in here literally happened on its own. All of the data, all of the streams, all the information, all the communication, all your contacts automatically got put into the system and the only thing we had to do was export our leads opportunities uh, and so forth from our other CRM system import it into this system and boom you're in connect it to your account and then you have instant uh, instant ability. So let's look at Doug Jumper. Doug Jumper is currently an opportunity. There's a proposal. There's already a follow-up scheduled on the list. Simple. Um, very, very simple. So you guys just giving you uh, an idea of a CRM system that can really, really, really help you change the way you function in your business. Very simple, very efficient, very effective, um, and totally streamlined. If you guys need help getting this um, set up or this is something you're interested in, we've got some consulting and implementation packages. We can definitely help you out by hour. Um, it's not difficult. We've been through the process and, um, this will change the way you function in your business. If you have any questions, you guys can shoot those over on the questions poll uh, on the go to webinar control panel. If you don't have any questions, then we're going to wrap up. I hope that in your business, you have some kind of a CRM system. Um, something. So I've done reviews on, you can go back and check prior 12-step uh, road, roadmap videos under the CRM section. Uh, if you're not familiar with how to get around that site, I'll give you just a quick demonstration so you know. Um, just head over to 12-step roadmap and these are going to be mostly in last year because this year just started and then you can go under CRM. This video will go under 2015 webinars and there'll be a CRM listing for this as well. So you'll be able to see some comparisons from previously. Um, we've looked at a lot of CRM systems. I will tell you this is absolutely um, the most powerful platform that I've seen from an efficiency standpoint and totally being integrated with email without having any, uh, you know, major connectivity things that you have to do. Very, very, very simple. Uh, the faster you are at being able to measure um, leads and opportunities, where they come from, how you get them and so forth, your response rates, uh, the more business you're going to close. A lot of times in, um, with our clients, they'll ask, uh, you know, how much are you going to grow my business? It's, 
you know, our job is to get people to the front door. Um, but what happens when they get to the front door is really in the holder of that business. Um, so making sure you have the right mindset, the right systems in place, the right follow-up procedures and so forth is going to be very, very, very important. With that, you guys, I'm going to wrap up here. A couple things I want to leave we, you with. If you have not signed up for 12 step roadmap series, if you're here by chance or cause a friend invited you, then definitely go to 12 step roadmap.com and uh, click the sign up button and just fill out the information. You'll get notices of the uh, training programs that we're doing. If you guys are interested in uh, getting on the phone with me and having a strategy session uh, about your uh, marketing activities, your goals, where you are, where you want to get to, just go to CI Web Group, fill out the form at the bottom for a free consultation, and uh, I'd be happy to get on the phone and help you guys put together some, um, some plans that are going to help you achieve accelerated results in your business. And with that, um, the only last thing that I will leave you with is whoever your web company is, um, it's important that uh, you have an annual minimum of an annual meeting with them to talk about where you are. Hopefully you have some kind of a refresh plan where you can get a new design on your site every, uh, you know, 18 to 24 months. The data that you capture in your leads and opportunities and your analytics and your uh, Moz rank tracking and so forth is so, so, so valuable. If you bounce around from web company to web company to web company, um, then you're losing all of the data that they've been collecting and, the knowledge base that they have. Um, so they may not be able to help you. So if you've got a great web company, stay with them um, and just make sure that you're stepping up to the plate and you've got a what's next mindset. You're evaluating where you are. Hopefully you have all the right tools and reporting and so forth in place to be able to measure results. If you don't, that's a different conversation. Um, I love the fact that our clients, I would say about 75% of our clients are on a refresh plan, meaning every 24 months they get a brand new website. We use all of the data from their CRM systems, their Moz reporting, their page rank reports, their uh, traffic reports, their Google analytics, our heat maps we have on the website to see what worked, what didn't work. And every uh, couple years, they're getting a brand new website that is uh, higher functioning than the one that they had before. So that's a very, very smart way to run a business. Um, that's it. You guys constantly be evaluating what you're doing, how to improve it. And uh, you will continue to see increased results year over year over year. Right now, you should be looking at, we're getting ready to jump into Q2 of 2000, what are we in, 2015, I think. Um, so uh, you guys want to be evaluating what are the key phrases you're focused on? What's the next set of key phrases that you're going to add to your plan? The more positions you rank for on Google, the more leads and opportunities that you have. If you have only been doing Facebook marketing and you have not tackled the Twitter arena yet, it's time to have that what's next mindset, jump into Twitter and um, we can teach you how to leverage Twitter to drive more traffic to your website, drive more leads and opportunities and so forth. Um, with that, you guys, thanks so much. I hope this was productive and helpful to you and your organization. If you have ideas or questions or uh, specific things you want me to cover in 12-step, please don't hesitate to let me know. You can shoot an email to team, T-E-A-M, at ciwebgroup.com. You can also uh, sign up for a consultation by sending an email to team at ciwebgroup.com. And I'm going to click that little list uh, on the right-hand side. I'm going to add you to a list that says leads, and we're going to have a conversation. may turn into an opportunity, may not, but either way, you'll get information that's going to help your business grow. With that, thanks so much, you guys. I appreciate you and have a great and productive week.